um, is the canon of American literature diverse? I would say that in the past, um, in the earlier years of American literature, that it wasn't diverse. Um, it was mainly written and chosen and uh, taught by the white educated male. Um, um, <laughs> I don't think that I think, well, I think that if they were white, educated men, they were probably wealthy, and I think that back then, um, they all kind of probably mingled with one another, which didn't allow for very much diversity, because they all probably had the same beliefs, the same type of lifestyle, um, things, you know, things like that, so I think that literature back then was more chosen to shape you know, people's minds into thinking what they thought were right. Um, whereas now, um, now and in the earlier, or I guess would be the more recent past, um, things begin to change and become a little bit more diverse with the bigger things happening in history. For example, slavery, um, you know, the, the Native American stuff, um, women's rights coming. Um, I think that when you look at those uh, those time periods um, you see a lot more diversity in things because things become more accepted even though it might be by a few people um, over the years it you know becomes more accepted over time and I think that you know one well my favorite writer um, Zakala saw um, I think she's a good example to use in, you know, the diversity of it. Not only was she a woman, but she was also a woman from another type of culture. And it shows that, you know, the, the, the white person thinking that we're doing something great, this big, great, you know, thing, sending them to school, doing this and that, you know, from their opinion, and it, it made the white person kind of a horrible person because she tells about how she was taken from her family, her hair was cut, cut off her hair, changed her clothes, she didn't know anybody. Um, she was actually, you know, I don't know, they were they were really mean, not only to her, but to the other children that they took in that time. And I think with her, you know, you, you see um, somebody else's point of view on what someone somebody thinks is great really isn't great for that person. Um, which, you know, she did become a very well-educated person and did a lot to um, help the Native people after she became educated, but um, I think that America has always been a place of immigration. There's people from all around the world that come here. Um, there's people from here that go all around the world, and everyone you know, who travels, not only travels, but also hears, you know, different stories from the wor from around the world, what's going on, keep up with history, um, things like that. It's always going to be diverse and um, continue to be diverse as long as, you know, uh, I guess majority of the people are accepting of other people's views and, uh, and opinions and things like that.